think that this trend, this practice, this finding is in response to what a lot of us think is the very low organizational readiness, um, employability of most graduates in Nigeria today. And you know, whatever side of the table you're on, I'd like you to share which two items you think would have the most impact within any induction orientation program for, for fresh intakes. You know, two key items that you think will make a difference, found difference, so that if they're not already in, included in our programs, we can add them on. Thank you, what are you doing? Okay, so um, first, new higher orientation. It's, um, I mean, there's been, uh, we've talked about the millennials, the way they learn, and, uh, and all of that. Um, um, my organization, we're involved with this quite extensively and have worked with some organizations to rethink their new hire programs. And I think that's really where it starts. Many organizations are still using a framework of new hire programs that have been using for a while. Meanwhile, you're using it for people who think differently. You're training people that you're giving them training that like, I think like Anasa said, you expect them to be in your organization for 10 years or 15 years. No, it's not going to happen. And that's actually where the, the issue starts. The thinking, the rethinking of that program. Who are these people? How do they learn? And what really am I going to get out of them? What's the objective? Now, two key things. Um, I would say emotional intelligence. I mean, that's a buzzword, right? You find that these millennials, these people you're hiring today, you must equip them with the ability to, to deal, to manage, uh, and know how to leverage their attitudes and the attitudes of the people they are going to be dealing with, whether customers or their colleagues. That is one thing that I've found that makes a huge difference. It's not, yeah, there's the, the, you, as you know, there's one thing. What they're coming from with the university is not going to be super useful for you in your business. That's one. So you must give them those technical skills. But I can tell you if they have all of the technical skills, as we know, these things are changing. But with the wrong attitude, it's not going to work. The other thing about training them about an, an attitude is they see a value for themselves. And when they see that value for themselves, they are willing to learn. Value for themselves not only at work, but in life generally. Because that's one thing that millennials deal with. They have a particular attitude that they believe is required for success, but they don't, they're not really emotionally intelligent about it in dealing with others. So that, when you keep them with that, it works all, not only in the office, but also in life. So they tend to embrace it more. The second key thing is about the people they are going to be working with. When we do these new hire programs, how well do we prepare the people who are going to deal with these new hires? Because we don't, we do all of the new hire programs, then you unleash these young people in the department and the supervisors think differently and they are telling them things that are totally different from what they spent all their time in that new hire program learning. I think that's the second thing, preparing the organization itself to know how to get the best out of new hires. And again, I'll say I've noticed that in some of the organizations we've worked with who have done these new hire programs, graduate programs for many how years. Do do how do you actually prepare them? It, it, it goes back to that being a learning organization. You know, an organization that does not learn dies. You know, some of the things that's been discussed here. So it, in, if you're going to invest in new hire programs, then you're going to invest in learning generally. And part of that is to teach the people, in, the supervisors, people who are responsible for managing people must know that people are assets that must be leveraged, not to, you don't load it over, if you load it over the these young people, they will go on to something else. Like I say, the joke is this, look, uh, the amount of money or what you think is a motivation for them to stay at work, money, which is what most supervisors know, their parents give them money. You know, it's like, how much are you paying me? I can stay at home and get this. You find a lot of that happening, or other ways of making money. So supervisors must be, must be trained or made to know that it takes more than just money to, to, to keep this. 
uh, this uh, people. Yeah.